Full slate of new news we have for you here today. We are talking Ghostbusters trailer, Millie Alcock as Supergirl, Anthony Mackie's new Captain America suit, and what are your favorite snacks you like to buy at the movie theaters? Let's get into it. Welcome back, everybody, to the Real Time Roundtable, where we give you the best movie-related news on YouTube. I am, of course, your host, Josh Williams. I'm Jordan. And I'm Noah. Thank you for, so much for joining us here today, and we have a really exciting show for you here today. I am mostly excited to talk about the snacks portion. I think everybody you can have too. fun with that one. But how's your guys' week been this week? Pretty good. How about you? Pretty good. I've been in a movie mood, man. I ain't movie seen a movie mood. in a little while at theaters, but I'm ready to talk about when it. When was the last movie, th- movie you saw in theaters? I think it was Blue Beetle. Wow, that was like Blue last Beetle. summer. Yeah, I think when, when Blue Beetle came out, that was it. And I wasn't even that satisfied with Blue Beetle. <laughs> I wasn't. I thought it was fun. I, hold on, what is the line? What does that Fnaf. even say? Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. Oh, Five Nights at Freddy's. That was the last movie you saw in theaters? Holy crap. Well, I saw, I saw um, Godzilla minus, one minus color last this past weekend. Uh-huh. And I actually liked the color version more. Surprisingly. Mm-hmm. What, about, what was the last one you saw in theaters? You, can you remember? The last one I saw was No Hard Feelings with Jennifer Lawrence. It came out in the summer. Oh, I actually thought that yeah. movie was funny. It was funny. awesome. That movie was it so was funny. Great. I enjoyed that a lot. <laughs> All right, guys. Let's get into the first topic we have for you guys here today. We are talking the official trailer that got released for Ghostbusters Frozen Empire. Now, the last one we reviewed a few episodes back was the teaser trailer. And so this is the actually first quote-unquote official trailer release. After you guys seen it, I think you guys are both know the Ghostbusters franchise pretty mm-hmm. well, right? So there's some fun things to discuss in here. But we'll, we'll start with you, Jordan. What do you think of the trailer? I thought it looked amazing. I saw it, like the full official trailer. I was watching TV the other night. Uh-huh. And they showed, you know, sometimes for a commercial, they'll show like the 10-second trailer that they've edited down. They showed the entire official trailer. And I got goosebumps watching it. I was so giddy. It looks like they bring back all of like the original mm-hmm. ghosts. And I read a comment on YouTube, and someone said that it looks like that it was something created with love and respect for the original movies. And you can really see that, even though there's kind of a new cast along. They bring the old cast back, the no. original cast. But you can definitely tell that they are paying a lot of respect to the original, especially the first one. Yeah, I can really agree with that. I mean, because... Ivan Reitman is still the producer. He's not directing this one like he directed the Afterlife. Right. But it's the fact that he's still a part of it because this is his father's legacy. He's trying to continue it on. Yeah, I really liked um, seeing a lot of the original cast. And uh, one of the things I thought I was really funny. So if you guys remember the original, there's this guy called Walter Peck who was like the head of the uh, Environmental Protection Agency. He was trying to shut mm-hmm. down the Ghostbusters. Mm-hmm. He's now the mayor of New York. And I thought that was a really fun turnaround to see him actually in that role because he can kind of screw over the Ghostbusters now right. again right. which I hopefully it won't be too like redundant I think hopefully they could do some new fun stuff with it but what about you Noah what did you think of the of the trailer I had like just seeing a lot of the OG like ghosts and monsters like I seen uh, the slime the slime guy it's definitely a slime one and it was it the Michelin man or oh the Safe Puff Marshall like the, the little minis Puff, yeah, yeah. Marshall, seeing like the little mini versions of them mm-hmm. that that's what kind of threw the nostalgia thing for me but it looked good, and then I like the uh, the actor. He was in Stranger Things, and now he's in here. Yeah, Finn Wolfhard. Yep, him. That's my boy. So. Yeah, I'm happy to see him <laughs> as well. Did you see Afterlife, the one that came out a couple of years back? I don't think I saw that. That's not the one with the girls, is it? Well, Didn't they do one where they like did it with mm-hmm. girls? Yeah, yeah, it was well, so McKenna. No, that was that was the old 2016 one. Okay, okay. That was like a rebooted one. The, the I one, the one I'm referring to came out a couple years ago. It's still the same cast. So McKenna Grace is in there. Finn Wolfhard's in there. They're basically the grandchildren of. Um, uh, sorry, Peter, uh, not Peter Bankman, uh, Egon, because his character dies in Afterlife and then they take his place kind of like as the new Ghostbusters. Okay, I remember and, it. I don't think I went to theaters to go see Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. So that's, there's, they're still in there. I was saying, I was discussing it with a friend. It looks like McKenna Grace, who, was, who plays Phoebe, she was like the main role of Afterlife. Mm-hmm. It looks like she's not going to be still taking that main role. She's still in it, mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. I think she might be taking a little bit of a backseat. I don't know how I feel about that because I really enjoyed her as a character, and especially even Finn Wolfhard's character as well. Mm-hmm. Kind of them, like the younger generation, taking over the roles. Right. But I still was so happy to see like the OG crew back with the suits again. But even um, the lady who's normally just like the... Um, takes the phone calls. She was in a suit mm-hmm. as well. I really like that. What did you guys think when you saw the trailer? So they finally revealed this new ghost that's like the big bad. 
you don't really see a full glimpse of her from what you saw what do you guys think of like the design I think it's cool. She looks mysterious and spooky. Yeah. I'm excited for it. Oh, yeah. That creature with like the horn thing. Yeah, like, yeah. Weird to make it all the ice body happen, yeah. and all that other stuff. Uh, yeah, I hope they don't just like over CGI it or whatever. Mm, yeah. Like what they did. Think of like Justice League, where like the monster and everything is just like all CGI and mm. it just like looks kind of jarring. Hopefully they kind of keep it like some practical stuff like how they used to back in the old Ghostbusters. Yeah. Um, <laughs> versus just all computer stuff. But it looked right. good. Uh, it looked promising. Yeah. Yeah, I. I don't know how I, she looks cool. I don't mm -hmm. know how she's gonna fit as far as everything goes because it looks like this is gonna be a really big, big bad. Like mm -hmm. you see in the trailer, like everything's being frozen. A lot of people yeah. are just getting killed off in this show, in this movie. Um, I hope it's good. I hope they have at least a decent backstory because we've all been very accustomed to Zool, who's been like the big, overarching mm -hmm. villain for like the first one and then the recent one. Um, but I'm excited. I hope it's going to be good. It comes out March 22nd of this year. I'm actually... What, I was going to say, what would you guess his uh, Rotten Tomato scores are going to be? Ooh. Oh, yeah, just throw out just a number. Like, so, I don't think it's going to be... Anyway. The original after... Well, not the original. The Afterlife, the one that came out a couple years back with the new cast, it got like a 70-something, I think. Okay, I think it's... I hope... That's what I'm going to gauge towards. I'm going to I'm gonna wage bet somewhere in the 70s. What about you? Yeah, I would say 70s, 80s, mm -hmm. somewhere around there. I'm going you? certified fresh. You going certified, certified fresh? fresh. Oh, okay. I think it's going to be eighty and up. All right, so let's up. make a let's make a bet here. Y'all here right now? Whoever's right, like so between me and you, I'm gonna guess the high seventies. You want to go low? I'm gonna go low eighties. Eighty-two. Eighty-two. Okay. 82. And you're I'm gonna, gonna go, go like high eighties. Okay. So whoever's wow. right, I'm gonna stay in the seventies, so it gives me a better chance. Whoever's right has to, or who? Uh, sorry, whoever's wrong. Has to buy the, per uh, the other two dinner. Like whoever's like the least wrong amount of wrong. Does that That's make sense? Enough. Buy has to be out the other two dinner. Is that fair? fair? fair Y'all hear it here first. We'll see who actually wins the bet. Does that make sense? Oh, like so whoever's right as far as the Rotten Tomato scores, like whoever's the least amount, whoever's the least wrong, like who's completely completely wrong, has to buy the other two dinner. So, uh, you heard? I'm down. Sixty-four percent. Wow, that's no. This one will be better. This, this one will be better. Let's hope it's be better. This one will let's be good. It'll be good. Better. Yeah, it'll be better. The Ghostbuster stocks are just going crazy. Yeah, right now. yeah. So let's move on here to our next segment. We have is according to USA Today, Millie Alcock. I'm hoping I'm pronouncing that right. The star of the first half of season one of House of Dragon mm -hmm. has been officially cast as Cara Zoell, Supergirl, in her own uh, Supergirl. Uh, movie called Supergirl Woman of Tomorrow, but it's also rumored that she will make an appearance in Superman's film because it's, he's the first quote-unquote official first movie of James Gunn's DCU. Who did they replace Henry Cavill with? Who is going to be the new Superman? So the new Superman, oh man, you just put me on the spot. I know that's just kind of like... No, that's okay. I'll look it up here. I forgot his name, but he's been in a lot of smaller stuff. He's not a really big known actor. And I think that's what James Gunn is going for. It's kind of newer. Some people who are more established, but like some of his bigger roles... He wants people who are not really like huge stars. Does that make sense? But I'll look up the name. But as far as this casting goes, did you see House of Dragon at all? So have you seen any of her actual I work? I saw all the trailers and stuff. Game of Thrones kind of like pushing me away a little bit mm -hmm. with this subject matter. But um, yeah, I, I did see the trailers and whatnot. And I see, I mean, she seems like a great actress so far. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not saying some people have like an actress kind of look, but like, you know what I'm saying? It, it, it didn't feel like off when I seen her on screen. So. Yeah, his name is David Cornsweat. I can't pronounce never that right. Heard of him. He never heard of him, but he's got <laughs> like that chiseled jaw that they want from like a traditional Superman. That, uh, you... Yeah, like yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I'm a little bit on. I, I'll say face. for Millie, she's a great actress. I've seen House of Dragon season one. I thought for her role she did there, she did an awesome job. She has she's really good at uh, drama. Um, so I don't really know the tone of the, what the Supergirl movie is going to be, but she is a great actress. I'm just so Kara Zor. She's not like extremely small, like tiny person, but she does mm -hmm. have like some presence about her as far as like mm -hmm. height and yeah. She's coming, uh, she, a but little. so this actress, she's really like she's like five foot one, mm -hmm. like so. I don't know how it's gonna like. She could very well knock it out of the park. I don't know. I do love her as an actress. I'm just wondering how she will look on screen compared to like Superman, right, and and Batman and Wonder Woman, all those other characters. But like, have, what do you think of the news? Like, have you seen any of her work? I've seen a little bit of her work. I didn't fully get into House of Dragons. I feel like because Game of Thrones came out kind of early in my time that yeah. I sort of missed the boat and it's a little difficult to, yeah, it's a little difficult to get caught up. But I've seen her work in some things. She seems pretty good. She seems really good. Yeah. 
And that's why, I'm, like, so far he's actually come up with a, lot, a really good cast of people uh, who, who he's cast so far. So you have David, Cor- uh, I can't pronounce his last name, I'm not going to try, uh, as Superman. Um, you have Rachel uh, Bazahannon as Lois Lane. She plays in another Netflix, uh, another HBO show. Mm-hmm. But you got Nicholas Holt who's playing Lex Luthor, which I think is actually a really great casting choice. He's going to we'll see if he actually balds his head or not. <laughs> and then um, you have, oh, who he's playing one of the, uh, Nathan Fillion, you guys know who he is, right? He's playing Guy Gardner, a version of Green Lantern. So they have two different versions of Green Lantern so far. So that one, so far, so I like. got a Hal Jordan in there or whatever? Uh, uh, did Hal Jordan get casted? Are they ever going to make a new Green Lantern movie? They are. <laughs> they actually, so they're, no, they, they're the, the rumors are just showing a new Green Lantern movie that's starring three different, like John Stewart, Guy Gardner, mm-hmm. and Hal Jordan. Um, Hal Jordan. All three of them at the same time. So that's gonna be very interesting to see. Uh, but they have a lot of other people. You guys can check it here online. I'll drop a link in the description box below. Um, but I'm intrigued. I'm happy to see that things are coming together. Uh, I was just I was kind of taken away that this for this casting because she's, mm-hmm. we'll see how she is compared to her, like everybody else on screen, especially right. like Wonder Woman, everybody else, because Supergirl still does, has a certain presence about her. Mm-hmm. Like the girl who played the Supergirl in the TV show on CW, she mm-hmm. was Melissa she Benoist, was good. she was amazing. She was great at it. Yeah, she was really great at it, so that's what I'm kind of gauging the bar on for this one. Right. So. But what do you guys think of this news? Are you excited about Millie playing Supergirl? Leave your comments in that section below and let us know your thoughts. All right. Fly, <laughs> All right, let's get into the next one, guys. I've been actually kind of excited, uh, mm-hmm. intrigued to talk about this because we've only seen stills. According to comicbookmovie.com, um, Anthony Mackie, Sam Wilson's new Captain America suit has been leaked for a like a Amazon promotional video. Right. Hang on, I got a cough, guys. Sorry. <coughs> Sorry about that, guys. But he has been... You see his new suit, which is a completely different look from what he had in Falcon and Winter Soldier at the end mm-hmm. of that. Spoiler, they had, he had his own Captain America suit. And it's completely different. Uh, what did you guys... When you guys saw this, and it's actually... Shout out to Leilani, who did a great job giving us actually, if you come over here to Noah's, you can see a really good comparison video here. Um, It's a much (laughs) differently, much, looks way different in my opinion, but like, what do you guys know? It's still, the camera's on you now, but what do you think of the comparison of what it was to what it's going to be with his new movie? Um, I like it. I like how it's like, still like an OG style, because they have had this in the comics back in the day, Mm -hmm. but it's not just like a rehash, well, it's a rehash. But it's not a copy of Captain America. Mm-hmm. Steve know, Rogers. Is, yeah. yeah, it's not a copy of Steve Rogers. Like, Steve Rogers had a similar outfit, but it was different. Like, I feel like this better incorporates the wings and everything and kind of kind of more just, like, American-themed, but, like, not like a straight-up, like, American flag on you. Gotcha. Like a bunch of stars and a bunch of other crazy stuff. But I like it. I think yeah. it's going to play out pretty good. What about mm-hmm. you, Jordan? I really love that they are keeping his wings. Mm -hmm. And they're showing kind of a collaboration between him being Captain America, but he is also Falcon. Mm -hmm. He is a known superhero to these people Mm -hmm. of Falcon. I personally really like the bright, bold white from from Falcon and Winter Soldier. I like that they're, to me, it felt like they were showing that a new person is stepping up as Captain. Mm -hmm. So we need kind of a newer more personal suit towards him right. mm-hmm. but other than that i think it's great it looks yeah, good i can i can understand your your thoughts on the white for me it was it it, it did look a little different i think that's why i was torn on it when i saw it in falcon Winter soldier but yeah and it is the, bold it's bold, bold. white and it yeah, just grabs it, your attention yeah it really does yeah and this one seems to be a little more like covert in a way because mm-hmm. it's a little more darker colors yeah which if you remember in winter soldier captain america's suit was more that way too yeah, because it was he a lot was darker. more He's like a soldier yeah spy a soldier, soldier yeah. type of thing He's a soldier and a hero yeah, so, and then his, in his new movie, they haven't really gave a description on Brave New World of, like, as far as what's it going to be about. Right. So the know. colors of scheme may have a reasoning for it. Uh, so he, we don't know. But I did like how the wings are actually, you can see a lot of the, like, the accents of red and blue yeah. in there and white mm-hmm. and silver and whatnot. I really do like that. And he also still sticks with the, the stripes you can see there as far as the silver stripes with the mm-hmm. star. That stuff I really enjoy, too. That was one thing I, I am happy to see that's different. I wasn't a fan of, like, the head yeah, piece. The kind of, like, yeah, halfway kind of like yeah, head piece. His ears sticking out the side. <laughs> it looked really weird for me, yeah. so I'm happy they got rid of that part, at least. Um, but I, Anthony Mackie, for me, I love Falcon War Soldier I a too. lot. Uh, it's it pretty good. much probably definitely one of the most underrated 
uh, shows that they've come out with. Because everyone talks about like WandaVision or Loki yeah. or stuff like that, but no one really talks about that one. I like it for what it did as far as it's telling. It's better than She Hulk and uh, Secret Wars. Yeah, yeah, I could definitely <laughs> agree with that, that one. Um, so was, I'm happy to see him take on the mantle of Captain America, mm -hmm. um, especially when like when they did it with Endgame and everything like that. So I'm glad to see he's actually for officially getting his own movie and not just a TV show. Right. To see how it all comes together within the franchise, but other than that, I mean, I'm excited to see what they come out with more. I know they did come out with a um, officially saying that the Serpent Society, who's supposed to be in this Brave New World, is not. They cut it completely. Yeah, they cut it completely from. So Serpent Society, if you don't know who they are, they're like a underground uh, group of bad guys who do, you know. Basically, like a new Hydra type sort of, Sort of, in a, in a similar way, mm -hmm. yeah. So they were going to play a role within Brave New World, but they completely scrapped it, and they completely got rid of all that footage, so they're not going to be in Brave New World now, apparently. Oh, yeah, they're doing a bunch of reshoots and stuff. Yeah, they are right now. They're Damn. doing a bunch of reshoots, so I don't know what it's going to look like. I was kind of sad for that because a uh, wrestler, Seth Rollins, was in it, yeah. but now all of his stuff got cut. <sighs> yeah, oh, all of it got cut. Dang it. Love so you, So you're Seth not going to see Seth Rollins in, Love you. in Brave New World, Ooh. sadly. Uh, so we'll see what goes on from there. But uh, what do you guys think of the still we saw here from uh, Anthony Mackie's new Captain America suit? Leave your comments in the section below and let us know your thoughts. All right. I kind of wanted to spend the last 10, 15 minutes or so because this one's going to be a fun one. I kind of want to gauge everybody's thoughts on this. So when you go to the movie theater, what's the one thing you always got to have with you? A snack. A snack. Obviously. Something to drink. Obviously. You know? So we're gonna, what we're going to be discussing today is when you go to the movie theaters, what do you buy when you go to the theater? And let's be real. Everybody, let's be real here. People sneak in snacks and drinks. Oh, yeah. Well, let's, let's, let's not pretend. Oh, yeah. Now, do I condone it? No. But do I understand it? Yeah. Yes. Because, I mean, I, I'll admit, I've snuck in a Subway sandwich every now and again sometimes. A Subway sandwich. Hey, crazy. heck yeah, Subway sandwich. Well, okay, I'll tell you as my story. Just about the worst one I ever saw. The worst one I ever saw was pretty bad. But it was, hold on. Kayla's already got one. M&M's and sweet and salty. And, oh, sweet and salty. Okay, interesting. Yeah. Yeah, because we're going to talk about yeah. what is your favorite snacks that you you know bring into the theater or you buy at the movie theater. And also, do your choices change depending upon what you're seeing? That's actually a really good one, too. Hold on. Let's see what Sam, one of our other floor directors, they have popcorn with extra salt and lemon juice. Lemonade? Lemonade. Oh, lemonade or juice. Okay. Like, how um, much salt are we talking here? Like... Like a lot? No, like the flavor. Oh, the f oh, just like, okay, okay. Mm. Like the regular salt. Like the, the regular salt? Okay, I want to see what... Oh, four, four course meal. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to get my... So Leilani so segue me into it. So the craziest thing I ever saw, <laughs> we were living in Des Moines, my wife and I, and we went to the movie theater. I can't, I, for the life of me, I can't remember what it was we saw. Mm -hmm. So a couple came up and sat in front of us, and I joke you not. She had like this big bag. She came up with this. You know, some people have like big bags that, you know, people uh, carry bags. with them. She, no joke, I saw a bucket of chicken come out, some mac and cheese, green beans, and then they brought out like a bunch of sodas, and they legit had like a meal in front of me. Now, I will say that's the worst thing, too. If you bring in food or anything like that, what? It's so real. Yeah. Yeah, but like what they, didn't, what they did do that I didn't really like is like, if you do that, cool, but at least take your trash with you or throw it away. They legit left it they just left sitting. It there? They left it there. All of it. Rude. After the movie. Someone has to clean that up. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Take your trash. Take your trash out with you. It's not yeah. their job. They should go to Jeff then. No. <laughs> but let's start off. Jordan, let's start off with you. Like, what is like your go-to like snack or soda, like and or soda mm -hmm. that you take, like you want to have at the theater when you sit down? My go-to, if I go to the theater, if I don't get anything else, I will get a soda. Dr. Pepper, obviously. Sometimes it's a pretty big one. Maybe it's a little now, smaller Now, does your size one. change, or do you drink it depending upon how long the movie is? It depends on how long the movie is. Yeah, I well, got a big one. Butter popcorn and a large icy. Okay. Ices are good. I do get I ices, the, the too. The red ices? The red ices. The cherry so cool. ones. Those oh, are good. Or Coca-Cola. Okay. Okay, Those are good. One. Favorite thing to do is ask for a water cup and no drink. Up soda. <laughs> yeah, okay. Don't drink IP. <laughs> Don't drink IP. Okay. So Dr. Pepper, okay. Dr. And so Pepper. And then I get, if I get snacks, I get popcorn, obviously. And I'm a Swedish fish gal. I love, really? Yeah. Whoa, I love interesting. Swedish fish. And I like to just, one at a time. Okay. Go back and forth. Have you guys ever tried the thing with popcorn? So I love getting popcorn too. Mm -hmm. But see, depending upon me, like if I really want to, if I'm watching an action film, I'll have popcorn. Mm -hmm. If I watch like a drama or something, I eat nachos. 
Oh. Because, like, for me, yeah, watching an action movie and shoving popcorn in your face, there's nothing like it. Or, like, something fun and high octane. But, like, if you want to pay attention to something, you just kind of want to just, you know, just, you know dip, just a very little, dip a little nacho able. cheese, put a little jalapeno on there, and, you know, you eat it. be careful not to have too much dip on your cheese. But has, have you guys ever heard um, Major Brain Freeze? <laughs> I see Major Brain Freeze. Yeah, I can do that. But have you guys ever tried the thing where, with your popcorn, if you put butter on it, you take the straw, you stick it into the bag, and you, like, you oh, put yeah. this, this, the the butter in the middle and like you would slowly bring it up yeah yeah and then it gets butter everywhere all over the popcorn Not nachos just are top. louder though oh our That's director true. thomas says nachos are That's true they are but i just sometimes it's really you just gotta depends. do it yeah there's always that one it. guy in the movie who just doesn't care yeah no. and he's just cracked up with <laughs> a big bag of chips and he's just <sighs> oh isaiah's gonna hate me but you ever see those guys who are like those people who are just like <sighs> oh like you know it's like oh stop, stop stop doing stop that Close your mouth. gross Gross. Um, so what about you? What are, what's some of the things you like to you know take or buy at the theater? That's kind of what are your favorites? Definitely the soda in the water cup, like actual water cup, and then fill it with soda. It like tastes better. Um, and then my family used to always stop at Quick Trip right before going to the movie theater. Okay. So I always remember like just a bunch of snacks and stuff from Quick Trip. So like literally in my jacket pocket, I could have like two taquitos mm -hmm. on one side, then a little sauce <laughs> cup on the other side. And then, you know what I'm saying, a bag of chips in a fanny pack. You know what I'm saying? I'm a guy, so you know what I'm saying? Everyone wears a bag nowadays, so I had a fanny pack of chips. And then these. Uh, oh, the sour ropes? Yeah. Those oh, are good. Any type of like yeah. sour rope, sour punch straw, any of that Oof. type of stuff, always a job. It's That's the perfect too much. Like, movie snack. You would just on the side, but you could still <laughs> while eating on the side. And some of the candies I like to buy, mm -hmm. like depending upon, they like peanut M&Ms yep. are really good. I like, mm -hmm. or a bunch of crunch mm -hmm. is really good. But if I ever want to like take popcorn and like get a little something sweet, you ever do like milk duds or like something oh, you put yeah. in the milk the okay. I do the popcorn. cookie dough bites. Those <laughs> Sam's are like, good. No, no, no. no but no, I, good. I, sometimes like the sweet and salty, that's like really good. Like, My mom mm -hmm. used to put Splenda on her popcorn. She Splenda? Liked the Splenda. It's like sugar on the popcorn or whatever, except Splenda. That's no. interesting. Ah? Is that ba so is that basically no, like kettle corn then? It's like a, almost like a kettle corn because it's like a, a sweet corn? and salty kind of thing. Interesting. Come interesting. On, don't knock till you try it. That's true. That's true. That's very true. Uh, my so one of the things I never realized about my little brother we went to the movies together and he likes to bring his own hot sauce and he just like all over the popcorn that's good yeah I've never I, thought of that I, I, I'm, I'm gonna do that now every time <laughs> bring every, a thing of Tabasco yeah. just sriracha sriracha there go to you go Chipotle and then over there on the side where they let you use your own hot sauce I mean just like <laughs> you know what I'm saying, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> now everyone's want to like I never get ices. I don't know why. But if, if they have it, mm -hmm. I like to get a beer or like something like alcohol really, depending upon what I'm watching. Just pull out a flask, got to get a jacket. <laughs> Dude, I've done that. I like, I, you know, have like bring a little shooter or something, get your soda. Oh, yeah. You know, yeah. Nothing, wrong nothing wrong with that. Now, yeah. depending upon George. what you guys see, does your taste change? It does. Or you always just have like a, you get the I same thing that. every time. Like, okay, so. If I'm seeing, I don't go, I don't watch horror movies. In the theater, I am a wuss. I get scared easily, so I avoid them. But if I go and see like a thriller or an action movie, I feel like it's popcorn, just just popcorn. Strong, but if I go see a comedy yeah, or like a rom com or something funny, I, I usually get candy, that. something sweet. I've never something done that sweet. Yeah. Interesting. Hold on. What does Sam put? Popcorn butter with yeah. That's what I was talking about. The straw method, where you poke the poke the thing in there. I've never done that. You guys have no, never it, heard of that? Yeah. No. Yeah. So Try it. It gets butter all over the yeah, popcorn. Yeah. At the bottom, it's totally it brings worth it. Up. it. Yeah. Yeah. Because like Absolutely. most people, they'll just put it on the top and then they'll shake it and then do it again. But that only gets like the first half. If yeah. you put the straw in there, and the butter will go through the straw and sink to the bottom, and, it goes and you to just the slowly and bring it up and keep doing up. it, and then it kind of spreads and you still shake it, but it kind of spreads heard. it all out. Yeah. It's try it good. next time you go to the theater. It's it yeah, works. It works like a charm. It does work. Smarter than me. Horror is jump scare, jump scare easily. easily. Yeah, that's the only reason I'm watching horror. I definitely watch. I definitely you know eat nachos. Just because, like, I don't jump that bad, but if I ever, there's a, ever, like, a jump scare moment, you sometimes I just do You don't want to be that person, <laughs> that. <laughs> Your popcorn is everywhere. I'm like, dang. Oh, man. So, you got, like, something sweet if you're watching a horror movie. What about you, Noah? Like, if, does your taste change depending upon what you go to see, or do you just get kind of the same things every time? Um, I don't know. I, I've been only seeing, like, action movies or, like, funny movies recently. Okay. Or, like, they, they basically cross those genres at this point. Um, so popcorn is definitely my mainstay. I definitely like nachos if mm -hmm. it was like something more calm or whatever, like a drama or like mm -hmm. a comedy or something. And then real food, shoot, just like a, a chili cheese dog, for real, for real. Oh, yeah. They, yeah, if a place has like pizza or something, I'll sometimes something get that too. 
Like in like AMC or something? Yep, a little bit AMC. Or like, I don't know if they have them here, but in Des Moines there's a place um, where you actually sit down and they have like a full menu and they have, of like... I was just about to say. Yeah, they have like... There, no, there's an AMC up in Prairie Fire. They have like a full menu of like yeah, cheeseburgers, right fries. Yeah. Right there on you ever, 35th. Yep. Uh, it used to be uh, Prairie Fire, yeah. Now yep, it's AMC. Prairie Fire. Like you get like, you get anything you want, like... I think like wings and stuff like that. And they'll Beer, bring it alcohol. In yep. I've never heard of that. They oh, have yeah. a bar upstairs wow. too. You can go hit the bar mid movie. Yep. I'm gonna have to go on a little road trip. That's why I still believe in intermission, so you can go get yourself some alcohol and come <laughs> back. Sure. Intermission. <laughs> we talked yeah, that was that was a fun last week episode. But other than that, like I can't think of really anything else that would actually be my go to's. So mm-hmm. definitely anything you don't have to buy at the movie theater because they like to skew up the prices and stuff. That's the one thing. Yeah, like, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like, dang, I could get a pack of Sour Punch straws for like two dollars. A quick trip. Movie theater is like five dollars. Five dollars. Mm-hmm. Anything you don't have to buy there is probably good. Which is I'm always torn on because that's how the movie theaters make their money because they don't make the mon- their money off of like the theater showings itself, right. like the profits from that. But they make it from like their their food Snacks that they serve. But at the same stuff. time, it's like it's so expensive. It's expensive. like the airport. Yeah, you ever buy anything from the airport? It's ridiculous. You get, a, you get a bottle of water for like $5. It's ridiculous. <laughs> but all right, folks, I think we are going to wrap that one up. That was actually a really good conversation. What did you guys like to have at the movie theater? What do you guys like to buy or bring? Again, every once in a while, sub sandwich, something small, but never like a full course meal. Sub sandwich. Foot long. Dude, what's wrong with a little something small? You know what so, you know, something a little a small. Maybe inch. like a cheeseburger or something if they don't supply it. You know? well, but well, leave your comments in the stick. section below and let us know your thoughts. Also, if you like what you watched, Hit that like button. It's right down there. Punch the subscribe button so you can receive all of our great content we have for you here on Red Digital Studios and on Real Time. Also on Red Digital, keep a lookout. We have cinema sit-downs on Mondays, Friendly Fire on every other Tuesday, and our D&D show every other Friday as well. Come check those out. You will not be disappointed. That's all we have for you today. Again, I'm Josh Williams. I'm Jordan. And I'm Noah. And thank you for keeping it real with Real Time.